Well, earlier I spoke to our US reporter, Elisa Cavalli, who's covering this story for us. She told me what NASA is hoping to learn from the mission. They took a couple of photos already that were transmitted back to Earth. You could see, uh, you could see that it was very flat. You could see a couple of craters and and boulders uh, on the surface. No trees or any signs of life. So the first step, uh, they did not see any particular signs of life. Uh, but in that particular area, at one point, there was a river running through, or there was some sort of um, water running through there. So that's why they think that there's potentially a good chance that they could discover something in that particular area on Mars. Now they also sent up these glass vials that they said are the cleanest vials they have ever sent into space because they didn't want any human DNA to potentially interfere with the with the specimens that they will eventually be bringing back to uh, Earth in order to to see what they can what they can find on Mars. Now, they're also partnering with the European Space Agency in France uh, to do this. The interesting thing as well is they are monitoring on Martian time for the next uh, next chapter of, of this particular mission. And Martian time is 37 minutes longer than Earth time. So eventually that will catch up with them um, and it will be very strange hours for the scientists. But uh, yes, they are trying to find out if there was life on Mars and if it's possible to send humans there in the future. Uh, not 2024, I don't think like Elon Musk uh, is promising, but in the next 10 years they will determine if it's possible to potentially send humans into orbit.